Hi guys, so I have a small Target and a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I am filming on my phone right now because my internet is a little bit wonky, so I don't want to risk filming this on my camera to upload to my computer just to not be able to upload it to YouTube. So until the internet gets figured out, I will be using my phone once again. But I'm going to go ahead and start with what I grabbed from Target, and then I will go into what I got from Dollar Tree. So I saw this in the dollar section. It was only a dollar, and I just had to get it. For any 90s kids, early 2000s, this was a thing we all did in school or just with our friends in general. It is a mash pad. So it has all the different categories for you to uh, fill out. So there's home, family, true love, vehicle, hobby, career, BFF, vacation spot, city, pet, and style. And I just, just for the nostalgia alone, I had to grab that. Also from the dollar section, I did get this little uh, potion bottle filled with little bat, uh, not glitter, but um, confetti. They were only a dollar. So again, this one is the one filled with bat confetti. And then this one I thought was super cute. So it's filled with little, um, I thought they were ghosts, but it's just like little white boos and they're kind of, um, iridescent so they're really pretty so I grabbed two of those and then I grabbed two more paint colors these were the 99 cent paint I went ahead and got a light ivory because I decided I did want to have at least one off-white color and then I picked up this orange, which is actually called Pumpkin. Now, I was not trying to look at makeup. I was really just going down the shampoo aisle. I was trying to find a shampoo for my psoriasis, tea gel or something. And I know that they used to sell that, but I didn't see any of it there. And I somehow wandered into, like, the back aisle of the cosmetics where, like, where I was, like, on the end caps of the majority of the makeup and skincare. And I noticed the clearance section. And one of the first things I saw was this Wet n Wild primer. It was originally $4.99 and it was clearanced out to $1.49. There was also a highlight and blush duo from the same Wet n Wild um, set. I can't, the clearance tag is covering it. It was the, I hate when they put the clearance tags right over the name of something. Uh, the Passion line. I think it was like a summer thing. And I thought about getting the duo of the blush and highlight. But when I looked at it, again, it was only $1.49. But I didn't think it would be something that I would really reach for. So I did just go ahead and get this primer serum. Because I thought it might be good for my dry skin. Okay, so it's Passion Session. So I noticed that. And then... I saw this on the clearance rack. Again, it didn't have a clearance tag, so I checked it. And this was originally $9.99, and I got it for $2.99. It is the Versed Silk Slip Conditioning Lip Oil. And my lips can get all the help that I can get because they get so dry. These items, I was so shocked because, again, there were no clearance stickers on them. So, basically, I took one of the palettes with me and I scanned it and I couldn't believe the price. So, I took the rest of them with me to scan 
And again, I could not believe the price. So this is the first thing I picked up to scan and it is the Friends Rachel palette. This was originally $12 and it was clearanced out to $3.60. So I grabbed this one. This one I am most drawn to because of the color palette. And the Monica and Phoebe were also clearance down to $3.60. So I got, this is the Monica. I can open them too and actually show you what the colors look like. And then the Phoebe. This one, I just really couldn't believe it. The Bigger Friends palette, this was originally $14.99 and it was clearanced out to $4.49. So I really couldn't pass it up. So this one, and of course, you know, with Makeup Revolution, I love their packaging. You know, the aluminum packaging, it has um, nice size mirror. But look at how pretty these colors are. This one looks more like a neon yellow on camera, but it is more of a mustard yellow, and I really, really like that shade. But the purples, the pinks, the shimmers, like they all look so so pretty. So I'm so excited that I got these. I wasn't planning to buy makeup. I don't need to buy more makeup, but the fact that they were so clearanced out, I wanted to get them before they're just like gone forever. So I'll go ahead and show you. This is the Phoebe palette. What? Maybe... I take this off there won't be a glare I think they're really pretty colors and the names are smelly cat lobster triplet ice flaky buffet science boy bike and ditzy Phoebe is my favorite character She's my favorite girl character. I love them all. Like, it is really hard to just pick a favorite, but I just really love Phoebe. And honestly, I might get hate for this, but Ross is probably my favorite guy character. I feel like he's so underrated and people hate on him so much, but he is so funny. So let me get the plastic off of here. This is the Monica palette. Again, very, very pretty colors. The names are Clean, Chef, Geller Cup, Chicken, Twins, Frizzy, Bing, Obsessive, and Thanksgiving. I love the Thanksgiving episodes, especially the one when they're playing football. I need to start rewatching Friends, honestly. And the Rachel palette, which I like all of them, and I feel like I can definitely use all of the shades. But the Rachel I'm drawn to because of, I don't know, I love the pinky colors in here. So this is the Rachel. Like, I'm especially drawn to this shade. And the names are Shopping, On a Break, I don't believe they were on a break. Dinosaur, 90s, Barney's, Tag, Chip, Pushover, and Crush. So I am so excited to now have these in my collection. And I'm going to make a point to really start playing with all of my makeup again. Because it is really fun. I just need to get back in that mindset. Okay, I did buy two movies. So, okay, really quick. The makeup all came, like the makeup and then the mash pad I got the other day from Target. Um, the next few things I got today. But the paint and the little confetti things were also from today. But So it wasn't all one haul, basically. But anyway, today I... I wanted to get another pack of the Halloween purple Christmas lights. 
well, I guess they're not Christmas. Oh, you guys know what I mean. But all the Halloween ones were out, but luckily they did have some Christmas lights out and they did have purple Christmas lights. And just like the other pack that I bought before, the Halloween colored lights, they were only $5. And I really want to put the purple ones in my room. And then I came across this and I'm so excited for it. It's a two pack of movies that I feel like so many people love and it was only five dollars so it's the Adams Family and the Adams Family Values and I'm so annoyed that I just now found this for five dollars because last week I rented the first Adams Family on Amazon for $3.99 like can I get my money back for that <laughs> So I'm excited. I did also get another $5 movie today because Alden has been wanting to see Space Jam really bad. He's obsessed with the Looney Tunes, but I'm not like, I didn't really want to see the one with LeBron James. I'm just not like a LeBron James fan. And plus that one's still like 20 something dollars. So I saw the original Space Jam with Michael Jordan that I grew up with and it was only five bucks so I picked it up but that is in my room because we already started to watch it. So if you give me a minute I will be right back to show you everything that I grabbed from Dollar Tree in the last couple of trips. So it's not all one trip here. Okay so I Definitely grabbed a few more Christmas items because these were new from the last time I ran in Dollar Tree and I got really excited. So when I saw this cup, I knew I had to have it. No, I don't drink coffee, but I do love hot chocolate during Christmas time. And I just had to get this because this is me all the way. Every year I dream of a white Christmas and the cup says I'm dreaming of a white Christmas and of course it has like the buffalo check pattern. I don't know if they call it buffalo check or plaid or whatever but I'm just gonna say buffalo check and I'm wearing my plaid shirt right now with a red lip trying to be in like the fall spirit here. I also got this two pack of pot holders that say it's the most wonderful time of year. I also want to go get some new Christmas oven mitts because the ones that I had from last year, they're, they're not doing so well. Because I have still been using them. Like, I haven't switched them out because I don't typically buy, like, every season pot holders. But I want to buy new Christmas pot holders and then I'm just going to buy, like, some plain pot holders to use for the rest of the year so my Christmas ones don't get ruined. These I'm super excited for. They were over by the Christmas stuff, but you can use these at any time of the year. But these placemats are like they're cotton and they feel not luxurious, but more luxurious than like the cheapy ones that I had been buying from Dollar Tree before. And they're so cute because again, they're black and white, so they'll go with anything. You can use them at Christmas, you can use them for whatever time of year you want. So I did get three, three of these placemats, and if you wanted, you can use the back side, which is black, but I really, really love the black and white checkered pattern. And then I also got two of these dish drying mats for the Christmas season. I'm loving the buffalo check pattern. I just, I really like it. And then I saw this, I know it's from like, a, it's like a Nicholas Sparks movie from one of his books or whatever, but it was a dollar, so I thought I'd grab it. And it's um, The Best of Me, which I don't think I've seen yet, and I'm sure it'll be a good movie. And it has James Marsden in it, who I think is the same guy that's in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And I really like him. So I am excited to have a new little chick flick to watch. And then I did just pick up a two pack of AAA batteries because one of Alden's gifts. Um, sorry, I was, he woke up. So I'm trying to, he's not fully dressed. So I don't want him to be on camera. But uh, one of Alden's gifts needed 
AAA batteries, and I had used the rest of the batteries I had for the other gifts that he got. <laughs> All right, and then I did run in Dollar Tree again today. Um, I got a Halloween card for my best friend that I'm not going to show because just in case she sees it, I think she'll really like it. It's really cute and it's funny. I picked up a three pack of scrunchies, not necessarily to use in my hair, but more so for craft purposes. Um, I also picked up some more of this jute cord. I always just call it twine, but... Just picked up a ball of that. And then I wanted, I want to make a bunch of different garland. Like I made the really cute Halloween garland with the witch hat. I made this really cute garland for my room that's like pink and gold themed. And I want to do a really cute one for like Thanksgiving. And the only like DIY ornament I saw in the Thanksgiving area were these little foxes, which is freaking adorable. So I'll definitely be using this and I'll make a cute little garland for the Thanksgiving season. Um, but I would like to find like a little turkey or something. So maybe I'll look on Amazon, see what I can find. But the little foxes were so cute. I could even paint one like all Christmassy, use it as an ornament for the tree. And then I got these fuzzy Halloween socks. They are low cut. They say, hey... Fabulous. Fabulous. They had some really cute fuzzy leopard print socks, but for one they had like the rubber things on the bottom and that really bothers me when I walk in socks with like the rubber things on the bottom of the socks. Um, these don't have that, but also the leopard print ones were like women's size and I have tiny feet so they wouldn't be like low cut on me and I, I don't like any socks that are not low cut unless it's like really cold outside and then I'll wear like tall socks tall fuzzy socks but so I got these I think they're supposed to be for kids they looked a lot smaller than the really cute leopard print ones that I really wanted but they'd be too big for my feet. Um, the only cute, more plain type of ribbon I found that I could use for um, Thanksgiving or Christmas or honestly anything else because it's not like super themed is this ribbon. I just thought it was really pretty. And then I did pick up another white paint bottle. And also some purple because every time I decide I need purple I never have purple on hand. This was new to me. I haven't seen this at any of my Dollar Trees so I had to grab it but it's by Global Beauty Care. It is the Pink Sugar Lip Scrub. All I ever see is I always get cut off um, but what I was saying was all I ever see by the Global Beauty Care is always like a, a night moisturizer or a daytime moisturizer. So when I saw the Pink Sugar Lip Scrub, I had to grab it. This I saw at the checkout. Now while I'm not against the really cute unicorns that are on here, I saw it and I thought it would be really cute to just kind of revamp it. So I plan to just like kind of paint the whole board and then still use you know the cute little dates and of course I like that they started with December because I'm already ready for Christmas um but yeah I I saw this and thought it would be super cute to um kind of make my own and these I usually pick up from Target and they're usually two something a box so almost three dollars a box so I was really shocked to see these at Dollar Tree they're the Little Bites Soft Baked Mini Tarts Apple, and I did try a pack earlier, and they are really good, so uh, if you see these, grab them for a dollar, because they're not that cheap everywhere else. And the last thing that I got from Dollar Tree 
I got six more of these babies. Literally. So, four, five, six. Look, I have crafts, okay? I have ideas for all of them. They won't just go to waste. They did have some left. I didn't buy all of them. There were like two left. But you know what? They're really hard to find. So when I find them, I need to just grab all that I can when I can, you know? I was actually trying to order a case of them off the Dollar Tree site, but I was having trouble every time I was trying to check out. Um, so you get like a box of $24 and it's $24. I think the shipping came out to like eight something, so you'd be paying like $35. But I mean, you're getting 20, 24 of these, which, you know, that's so many. And I'm sure I could find an idea for every single one, but... I just, I couldn't figure out the checkout thing because it kept telling me when I was trying to check out that I needed to check and make sure everything was filled out. Everything was, nothing was missing. So luckily my fiance ran me to a different Dollar Tree today and that is where I found all of these babies. So I'm very excited about that. So that is everything that I grabbed from Target and Dollar Tree. And so I hope you enjoyed this little haul. And, uh, yeah, I, um, again, I hope our internet gets up and running again here soon because I really enjoy filming on my camera now and being able to, like, learn to really edit my videos and all of that. So I'm throwing it back and doing it old school on my phone right now. So anyway, I will definitely talk to you guys again really soon. Bye!